Hello there. Welcome to Banyan class. My Hi. name is Miss Barrett and I wanted to share some information about what life is like when you join Banyan class. So here it is, an introduction to Banyan class at Highfields campus, Dunkirk Primary School. Me. I'm Miss Barrett and I'm the class teacher and there are lots of people who are supporting Banyan class through the year. Mrs Lodge, she'll be working with a specific group of maths uh, children. Miss Tyers is the focus for English and so is Mrs Parry who works on reading and improving fluency in afternoon groups and Mr Brown takes the class on a Friday afternoon for PE and for science. So that is the Banyan class team. Our classroom, as you can see, not quite in my classroom here. So I'm working from home as the bubble is isolating at the moment. However, it's not going to stop me from introducing what life is like in the classroom. And from these pictures, you can see desks are in pairs. And lots of the work is displayed around the classroom for us to celebrate. We have got a really important writing wall. So the end of our three or four week units, the final piece of writing is displayed to be proud of here on our writing wall. And very often I might send tweets about that or display the work on our website. So have a look. Maths and English working walls. In this case, we've been working here on division. And in this case, we were working on warning stories set in the golden age of Islam. And these working walls change depending on what unit we are studying. So blink and you might miss them. But they're really important to support the work that you are doing at the moment. So that's our class. Curriculum, certainly for the autumn term, the golden age of Islam forms the basis for our English work. We work in the Power Maths book, Power Maths here, to support our fluency in maths and our reasoning. Science is based on electricity and forces. And then in the afternoon, together with PE, the golden age of Islam, looking at the Islamic empire and the growth of the circular city of Baghdad about 1,200 years ago. Really interesting. As for a week, OK, here's the timetable, Monday through to Friday. And you can see in the mornings is English and maths punctuated with a nice break outside, hopefully, if the weather's good. There may be spellings in the afternoon. There's certainly maths fluency, lessons to support our maths work prior to lunch. And then theme work makes up the bulk of the afternoons, like I said, the golden age of Islam. There may be assemblies and also class book. At the moment, we're reading A Thousand and One Arabian Nights. Yay! typical day looks like this. So we'll start off with the register and there'll be an activity to complete. It may be maths, fluency, it may be spellings. That will be followed by Big Read and English, which merges as well, taking us up break. Our maths after break and then after lunch, we'll read to ourselves. There'll be a maths fluency lesson. In this case, it's Tuesday, so it's true or false Tuesday, maybe one Wednesday or think it Thursday. And then the theme lesson will follow on from that. In this case, there was an assembly. Assembly happens three times a week, a Monday, a Wednesday, and a celebration assembly with P-R-I-D-E, Dunkirk, Pride, more of that in a bit. And then home time at quarter to three. What do I expect in Banyan class? So I talked about P-R-I-D-E. Dunkirk Pride is something that the school prides themselves on. P, problem solving, R, responsibility, I, independence, D, determination and E, empathy. So our reward system is called Track It Lights. And if your child or any child displays any of those facets, Dunkirk Pride, they will be rewarded. So positive behaviour is rewarded. So, for example, if you were to complete your reading diary for the week and the set tasks in the diary, I would guess that would be rewarded with independence and responsibility. So, spellings. These are the year five, six spellings that will be reinforced throughout the year. Uh, every year six child needs to know how to spell these words and words that derive. 
So, for example, if you have the word aggressive, you need to know that the adverb aggressively derives from that. So the expectation is to be able to read and spell and know the meanings of all these words by the end of the year. OK, attendance is really important. It's a funny time at the moment. Yes, so we appreciate There's a lot of isolating going on, but engaging with school, whether it's online learning or uh, when you do arrive at school is really important. So please, every day at school. PE, you don't need a specific PE kit, but on Fridays, come to school wearing your trainers, maybe some jogging bottoms and your dunker jumper or cardigan. There'll be no need to change because we'll be doing PE and what we are wearing. Also, on Friday uh, and Wednesday is homework day and it's set through Class Dojo. A little bit more about Class Dojo later. So look out uh, for Class Dojo information sent on a Wednesday and a Friday. Just a little word about SATs in year six in May. There are um, government tests and they are scheduled for the 10th to the 13th of May next year. Whether they go ahead, who knows? But as far as we're concerned, they will. Now, these revision books are quite handy. You might want to have a look at the Haslam and Hall website and purchase a couple of these books to help you on your way. But to reassure you, revision program sets in in Banyan class in January after the two week holiday. OK. I was talking about Class Dojo, so it's a question of downloading Class Dojo and there's a ways and means of doing that. Um, I will set homework and online work on Class Dojo, and so it's an incredibly important portal for your child and yourself to be part of. Now, you can get more details about how to connect to Class Dojo with the school office. There's a letter and log on details for your child. Um, and if there are any problems, don't hesitate to get in touch with the school office. OK, ladies and gents, that's it for now. That is Banyan class, and it's been a pleasure sent to you. I look forward to seeing you all soon, and take care. Bye-bye.